Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, can we use for each loop with arrays in Java? Let me answer. There are different types of loops in Java like while loop, do while loop, for loop, and for each loop. All these loops you can use for iterating through arrays or array elements in Java without any problem. But for each loop is the best suitable loop for arrays, guys. Okay. So it's uh, designed for arrays and collections. For each loop will only work in Java for arrays and collections framework. Okay. So it's the best suitable loop you can say for working with arrays or array elements in Java. Okay. So the answer is yes, guys. We can use for each loop with arrays. Not only we can use, but it is the best suitable out of all the other loops we have in Java for arrays. Okay. So with practical demonstration, I'm going to answer this question for you. How? we can use for each loop with arrays in Java, okay? For that, I'll switch to Eclipse ID and create a new class. I'll just name this as two with the main method. And here, I'm going to create an array. I'll provide some array elements. Nine comma, five comma, seven, one, two, six, four, three. Okay, some array elements I gave. Now, I'm going to create a for each loop how to create a for, for each loop after writing this for loop kind of stuff and uh, inside the circular brackets first you have to understand what is the data type of this individual elements of this array if you take this seven what is the data type of this seven in data type so provide int here and you can give any variable name x y z anything and after that you give the array name okay so and inside this uh, for each loop you just write a print statement and provide this uh, x here okay so what happens is this for each loop will iterate through each and every element of this array. Okay, I'm not using an index. I'm not, uh, it's not required to find the size of this array. You see, when compared to for loop, if I have to use a for loop with this uh, array, how to start with the index zero and how to find the size of this array and all those stuff. But here for each loop is specially designed for arrays and collections. Okay, it only works with arrays and collections. Hence, if you get a chance to use a particular loop with the arrays, you first go with the for each loop, okay? For each loop is a best loop, guys. Okay. And best suitable loop for arrays and collections. Okay. So that's why we go with the for each loop. And uh, no index required, no size of the array required to be calculated directly like this. We can write the code and it will iterate through all the array elements. Okay. In a simplified way and uh, print them or whatever you want to do, you can do. Okay. So here, what happens is uh, it will check in the for each loop, it will check are there any elements in the array? Yes, there are elements in the array in that it will take the first one assigned to X. Nine will be assigned to X here. You can give any name for this. So if you're printing X here, nine will be printed. Then it will check any other elements left. Yes, in that first element, five will be taken, five will be printed. Any other elements left in that first element, seven will be assigned and seven will be printed. Any other elements left. First element, one will be assigned, one will be printed. Any other elements left? Yes, four more elements. In that first element, two will be assigned, two will be printed. Any other elements left? Yes, three more elements, six, four, three. Six will be assigned, six will be printed. Any other elements left? Four will be assigned and four will be printed. Any other elements left? Three will be assigned, three will be printed. No more elements left, you'll come out of the for each loop. This is how the for each loop works with arrays and collections. So, and uh, for each loop is the best suitable loop for working with arrays and uh, for iterating through the array elements in Java, okay? Out of all the loops, for each loop is the best. And this is how we can use for each loop with arrays or array elements for iterating through arrays or array elements in Java. All the elements of the array got iterated and printed in the output console. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question with practical demonstration. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.